Hi guys and welcome back to part 3 of this micro camper build. Um, since the end of part 2 uh, we've got the, uh, the windows in, the glass bonded windows, uh, we've got uh, well the roof end partly fitted, um, the front end we've got the, uh, the insulation came so that got finished off the panels and we've obviously got a, a bit of furniture board at the front there as a top locker over the cab. Uh, we've got the rubber trim on around the door that's all finished off now. Carpet in, all the brackets are back on, and we've got the uh, the base trim back on as well. So the lino's uh, nicely finished off on that edge. Uh, as you can see, we've made a start on the beds. Um, that's only a mock up at the minute, that's not fitted. Uh, these have got to be taken out again and cut down to a size and edged and everything. Um, but that's, that's what we're looking at on that front. We had um, an issue with the back doors. Um, when I ordered the, uh, the glass for the back doors, it came for uh, the vehicle that doesn't have the factory high top. Um, they, they were nowhere near the shape that uh, they needed to be. Anyway, I, on further investigation, uh, the company that we're getting from don't actually do them for um, the factory high top. Uh, they had to be ordered direct from Vauxhall. Uh, which was about a two or three week wait, which is going to be too long. Anyway, so on this particular side, we've gone for uh, a sides opening window. Um, to be honest, I think it's going to be a better option because you've got uh, the option of opening this as well um, because of the kitchen area at the back. So I think it's going to be more practical to have one of them in the back uh, rather than the glass bonded windows because that would have probably restricted you to, to one opening, which would have been the roof vent. Um, but that's where we're up to now. Um, we've made a start on the kitchen unit and the locker that's going over the top. So once they're somewhat finished off, we'll get them in and I'll, uh, I'll take another video. Okay, so we're a bit further along again. Uh, as you can see, we've got a, a top locker from front to back there. Um, we've uh, got to fit the light under there yet. That's not on. Uh, and obviously the doors, as you can see. Well, there's plenty of storage up there. Got the uh, the back door panels on and the new window. Uh, Sam has done a really good job of fitting these in. It's covered the, the plastic at the bottom, and shaped in the uh, the back door panels. Really nice job on that one. Um, bed ends they're cut in now, shaped, knock on edging. Uh, we've got the back rail in that's secure now. Um, I have just cut the bed front. Um, so I'll be putting that in shortly. Got some of the electrics done underneath. Let's put that out of the way. Consumer unit. Uh, the lead fuses are down there. Uh, that's where I'm thinking the battery's going to go. And on the back there, we've got a basically a kill switch for the uh, the power from the from the battery. This is all going to be basically electric setup. This one. Uh, we've got the uh, the curtain tracks in now as well. Uh, took a measurement for the curtains and the upholstery size has been sent off so they'll be being made. A curtain, a cap curtain going across the uh, front as well and another curtain on this side as well. So that's where we're up to now. Um, we're just doing a few, we've had the kitchen in, um, we're just doing a few alterations to that. Um, so that should be in after dinner. Uh, same with the bed. Um, so hopefully uh, it won't be far off. Right, okay. Uh, so we've got some of the lights fitted now. Directional spotlight, we've got the roof light up there. And we've got the uh, the LED strip light. It's a good aim. We've still got the switch to fit yet, but uh, that's all that done. Uh, we've made a start on the bed front. Uh, we've got the sockets cut out of the front there as well. I've not put this uh, part in yet. Um, because I've still got a bit of wiring to do at the, the front end there. The charge unit hasn't come yet, so I don't want to box that off too much and struggle getting at it. Uh, there is going to be a gap um, in between, uh, obviously, that end and this end because we've got a, a porta potty that's going to slide out as well on this model. Um, but I can show you that all later today once we've got everything uh, fitted. And this is the start of the kitchen. The, uh, the gas locker at the back there, some drawers and flaps at the top storage under the jerry cans for the water and at the bottom end there that's where the fridge is going to go as well um, we've got that frame made um, up 
for now I think that uh, we'll leave it at that for this video and then I'll show you a bit more of the final fit out on the next one uh, so for now thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe thank you very much bye bye